floss tube. This is Stephanie, the Ivy House Crafter. Um, it's actually been less than like two or three months since my last video, so that's good. Um, we have changed things around in our living room. Um, we moved the piano to this wall where our couch used to be, and um, the couch and love seat are now both against the opposite wall right in front of the window, so if I were to try to film sitting on my nice comfy couch, there would be too much backlighting. So I'm on the piano bench. Um, let's see, just a few quick life update kind of thingies. Um, let's see, I had my birthday, um, I talked about that on my last video, and we went and got some um, picture frames that I'm going to use to finish some of my cross stitch pieces and I have them chosen out and then um, I, ju I just haven't <clears throat> put them into the frames to hang them on the wall but it's gonna be really pretty <clears throat> and then there were a couple that I just couldn't find the right size for and so I had to order them online and they will be getting here probably in a few days um, so, so that'll be exciting. So by the next video I make, I should have several nicely framed pictures or cross stitch pieces to show. Um, a few days after my birthday, it was my daughter Audrey's birthday and she requested a hamster. And for a little while she kind of wanted a leopard gecko, but we realized that would be more expensive and more work. So we decided to go with the hamster. Um, I have a fun story. When I was about her age, so um, somewhere between like 10 and 12-ish, um, let's see, there were six of us kids at the time. Two more were born a few years later, but um, they don't count at this point because they weren't there yet. Um, <clears throat> so there were six of us and we really wanted to get a hamster. And so my parents promised us if you guys can go for one week without fighting, squabbling, arguing, any of that, we will get a hamster. We got the hamster cage, we got the bedding, we got tubes and toys and food and everything that we could need for a hamster. And we never got the hamster because we could not go a week without squabbling because there were six of us. <laughs> so all those years ago, and, you know, I just, I never got a hamster. And so when Audrey decided that she wanted a hamster, I was like, okay, we're going to get a hamster. And so I built, or I, I, I made a bin cage for the hamster. It's um, just over the bare minimum of 450 square inches. Um, and it's got like all the, all the paper bedding and, and a wheel and hideouts and sand bath, you know, all sorts of fun stuff. And we got her a hamster. He is a long-haired hamster and his name is, uh, yeah, long-haired Syrian hamster. His name is Ginger Snap and he is absolutely adorable. Um, I would show him, but he's all the way down in her room um, and he's asleep right now. Uh, within a few days of getting him, I realized how much I really wanted a hamster. <laughs> um, and we, like, like I, I could feel myself wanting to take over control of, of Ginger Stapp, of Audrey's hamster. And we wanted it to be her hamster and she's in charge of his care and everything. And so I figured the best way to let her be responsible for her own hamster would be to get me one too. So, um, I made another bin cage and got all the stuff again and, you know, made his little habitat. And he's actually, I'm going to, I'm going to move you guys here for a little bit. And that is his habitat. He is a Russian dwarf hamster, um, either Campbell's or winter white or possibly a, um, hybrid, but he is so cute. His name is Marshmallow and he also is sleeping right now so we can't see him but oh he's darling and he's just a little and soft and cute. So um 
Uh, there, there's pictures of both of them on my Instagram. Um, the picture of Ginger Snap is actually, um, you have to swipe one of the other pictures to see it. But then the picture of Marshmallow is just like right there. And it's, oh, they're both adorable. And we all love them so much. Anyway, I'm going to move on to the cross stitch because that's why you're here. You're not here for the, you're not here for the hamsters. I'm just super excited about them. Okay. So first I'm going to show Pandemic because that's the one that I've been working on the most, I think. Um, so this is Pandemic by Long, Long Dog Samplers. And I am stitching it on 32 count linen. Um, it's called Nature's Dance from Hand Dyed Fabrics by Stephanie. Two over two with DMC 801 and some um, turquoisey colors that I got from Amazon. So here, let me see, here is where I'm at. So since the last time I showed this, I put in, let's see, I, I put in this little bit right here, not a huge amount, but that, that finished up page six. So page six is done except maybe like a tiny bit down here where it where it um, overlaps, I don't know. But yeah, page six is pretty much done. And then I came over into page three and um, I had only stitched this half of this motif and so I finished the motif and then I stitched these bits here. So that is the progress that I have made since the last time I showed this. So paid, finished page six and made a lot of progress in page three. Still just love working on this every time I get it out and I get it out quite frequently because it's, um, I mean, it's a very large stitch, but it's a very, it's kind of an easy stitch just because mostly it's just one color and it's a lot of pattern, like um, repeats and stuff. So I'm enjoying working on that. Um, I had a new start. Since I recently finished the dimensions kit that I had been working on, I decided it was time to start another one. So this is the second dimensions kit that I ever purchased and it was like a couple years ago that I bought it and it's just been sitting in my stash waiting and I thought it was a good time to start it. This is Feasting Frenzy and the designer is Marilee Carroll. And I, I like birds, birds are fun. My husband used to have pet birds. Um, when we met and started dating, he had a bird um, called Regis and it would whistle, uh, it, it, it was a cockatoo and it would whistle the, the Andy Griffith show theme. Do -do -do, do -do 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 that was the only part it knew. And I can't whistle it because I can't really whistle. But um, so Jeff had taught it how to how to whistle and it was so cute. And Jeff wants a bird again someday. But anyway, until then, we will have to make do with the cross stitch birds. So this is the progress that I have made on Feasting Frenzy. I started with this cute little bird here and then added this one. And it, this is a pretty fun stitch. It's it's almost like individual motifs because you know you, you, you just stitch each bird and then there will be um, fill in like the background after that, but super cute. And um, I'm actually doing this as a stitch along, hopefully, with um, Sarah Lusk, who I met and sat next to at the Stitch West retreat last year, back when we had cross stitch retreats. And I'm so sad that there wasn't one this year that I could go to. That made me sad. But um, she also had the has has this pattern. And um, when she commented on my Instagram post, and she said we should do it as a as a stitch along. So I said yes, please. That would be fun. So if anybody else has that um, has that kit and wants to join in, um, I created the hashtag Feasting Frenzy Sal on. Um, What's it called on Instagram? <laughs> and so yeah, if you if you have it and want to join in, that's fine. That would be great. Okay, 
on the, yeah, I'll go ahead and show this one. Uh, another piece that I worked on this week. This is one of my designs. It's called Deer and Squirrel. And um, I did a lot of border work here. Um, I had the vines, and so I added all the flowers. And then it's, it's kind of hard to see, but this little band here, there's the green vines, and then at the edge of each one is, a, is one stitch that's a tiny little bud, and I added those. So let me show that. Okay, so this is what I have so far on deer and squirrel. I know the, the fold here makes it kind of hard to, to see it properly, but so I added, I think it was 12 flowers down here, six on this side, six on that side, and these tiny little single stitch buds. I don't know if that's showing up. I'm going to do this one. It's not as bent. Yeah, tiny little pink buds on each one. And it just makes it so pretty. Like it, it's so much prettier in real life than in the camera. But this is a, it's, it's kind of repetitive to work on, especially the border. <laughs> um, sampler borders tend to be like that, but um, it's just gonna be really pretty and sweet when it's done. So that's Deer and Squirrel. And that's available in my Etsy shop. And then the last piece that I worked on is my Saxon band samplers. Um, so this one's Saxon Transylvania band sampler and this one is Ye Old band sampler and this is the one that I worked on. Um, last time I showed this, this lion did not have this paw and he did not have a head and a like ruff or collar or whatever. So that is what I added. I'm gonna kind of peek around see if I can make sure that this is showing up good. So that is the Lion on Ye Old Band Sampler. There's going to be another one facing the other direction. So they're like facing each other. There's one right here. And there will be an alphabet here. And silly me, I didn't even think to grab the pattern to show it. But it looks like this, only much, much longer. <laughs> All right. That is a very short video. <laughs> Apparently I don't stitch as much in a week as I used to be able to, but that's okay. Actually, it's been almost two weeks. Um, I've been focused a lot on the hamsters for the past week or so, and um, not doing quite as much stitching as I used to do back when I was posting videos every week. But So yeah, just a brief update. Um, we got some... Christmas ornaments that we're going to hang on our cherry tree outside. Eventually I'm going to take down the autumn decorations on the mantle and put up Christmassy decorations. Do you guys want to see the mantle? I can turn and you can see the mantle. It's not super exciting. Just, there we go. Happy autumn and I've got my dimensions kit, roses on white chair, and my sloth little thing from my mom and anyway it's not too exciting but it's about the most decor like decorated stuff that I have <laughs> I'm for someone who really enjoys looking at beautiful things and beautiful decor and cross-stitching and creating I'm not very good at decorating I am not Priscilla and Chelsea <laughs> I am I like pretty things, it's just hard for me to display them in a way that's nice. So that's about the fanciest that I get, is putting stuff on the mantle. But anyway, maybe by next time I'll be able to show a more festively decorated mantle, or maybe I'll be like, nope, I'm never showing my mantle again. I don't know. I hope everybody had a nice Thanksgiving. We visited my sister in Idaho. Um, they had been social distancing and we had been social distancing and we, we felt comfortable that that would be an okay thing to do and we've all felt well since then so I believe that we're okay. Um, and we just, you know, stayed 
just there in their home the whole time and nobody went anywhere or did anything. It's just, it was nice to, to be with family. Um, for Christmas, we are staying home. We, we generally do anyway. We used to, like a couple times earlier in our marriage, we went and visited family for thanks for Christmas, but transporting presents back and forth, it was, it was stressful. And so we decided many years ago that Christmas was just stay home and spend time with just our family. And so that's what we'll be doing again this year. Um, I'm out of things to say. I'm trying to make this a longer video and it's just, you know, sometimes videos are short and that's okay. I hope everyone has a wonderful holiday season, whatever holiday you celebrate. Um, we will be celebrating a lovely Christmas and um, yeah, my mind is blank. <laughs> Happy stitching everybody. <laughs> Bye.